against in what? Fanny, right? Because like, Fanny. but against a Minotaur and a Fredrin, uh, yeah, it'll be way too risky, man. There's so much knockoffs that can stop your cable. So it's a Kaja for Alter Ego and the Yuzong. That's a very good response here, right? Uh, for a composition like RRQ has cooked here, a lot of AoEs, you want to pinch them one by one. And uh, perhaps the Kanja is going to be the answer here, right? Utah, very good EXP laner to stabilize, also to perhaps zone out, create two perimeters for Alter Ego for that fight, which somehow weakens the power of that team fight from RRQ. I agree with that, but I... I... On the other hand, I'm concerned that that is going to be a resource given to the Valentina. The Divine Judgment can be taken away, the Black Dragon Form can be taken away, but again, they commit with this Thamus in the EXP lane. Is this the new strong EXP? It might be. I wrote down three different possibilities. Thamus, Terizla, Exborg. They go for the Thamus because it worked in game number one as well. Technically up against a Moskov, it's really good too. Pop in that Vengeance and you'll practically be hitting yourself when you hit the Thamus. What about the lane with the Yuzong in the EXP lane? It's actually pretty okay. Like, it's a skill matchup as well. You just need to choose when to go in. If it's an all-out trade, then actually, if it's all it's an all-in, it's a uh, Thamus favor. But if it's just small trades, Yuzong should be able to get it done just with a passive proc and then back away again. But for setup, still the same for Alter Ego. You can see the lineup rating and the counter index in favor of Alter Ego. And this is it, ladies and gentlemen, the moment of the definition of both of these teams. One more game away of securing that playoff spot. Rexorek and Kaon. Can they do this? Can they achieve the impossible? Everyone has written them Welcome off the season. But again, we saw it back in the day on the posters of the super fans, right? Yeah. We will not go down. I'm excited to see what RRQ have cooked up for game number two and whether or not Alter Ego can find a comeback and force a game number three. But already we do see that they do have a little bit of an advantage in this mid trio. Mm -hmm. With the Minotaur and the Valentina over the Kaja and the Vexana for sure, especially considering Vin went for the Concussive Blast, so extra clearing potential. And wow, Vin with the Inspire too. So he's looking for that cooldown to look for as many knockups as possible. Meanwhile, for Rossi, it's a bit different. Clay inspired, Kryt rupture, and the Wilner's blessing. For Rossi, it's all movement speed. He wants to be as active as he can possibly be in this game to look for those pickoffs all around the map. For the goal laners, both of them have decided to play it a bit more safe. But yeah, okay. Whoa, Skylar actually winning it out in the gold lane, poking him down. Impressive. Without the help of Vin as well, right? So it's a very good. Claude that Skylar is doing here, top lane. Meanwhile, Nino needs to adjust. In the mid, very chaotic here, even from the second wave, where RQ now rotating already towards the bottom side of the map. By the way, I just realized that this is a debut pick Moscow for Nino. So when you're talking about adjustments, he also needs to adjust on the fly here, yeah. going head to head with one of the best gold laners already. On his signature hero, at that, right, Skylar on the Claude. And you can already see him kind of faltering in that particular lane. He's trying to see through it. Meanwhile, for both of these junglers, they are going to start posturing for the next neutral objective. You can see Irad already starting it up. But both of these players are on the same level. So 50-50, Rossi not yet level 4. So he can't use that Divine Judgment in the setup. Not yet 4 indeed. See here. They have Black Dragon formed though to zone out players. Let's see who will find the retribution. Now, Beaton is welcome. Taz finds it. I think we're gonna first blood here. Pi finds it as well now. Minion Fury knocks up three, but no fall damage is quite. Will able to take down Clay. Now Vin, no. Need to flicker out of the situation. His alter ego finds the first home run. Now, top side, Skylar versus Nino. I have to say it's even. Rossi still has the no, he has no flicker, so he will not have the flicker divine judgment. And Alter Ego is already stabilizing the early game. So walk us through the that that exchange, right? Who was it good for? Was it a, to your expectation looking at the composition? Yeah, I think it should be 
the way uh, it played out exactly as expected with the Yuzong over the Tamas, you do have a little bit more pressure to counter in the neutral objective department to actually secure the neutral objectives, especially with the Verats against the Frederick. No Mathilda this time, right? That's a big pointer there for RRQ. So it is a bit harder for them to go for these skirmishes, but I think for Clay as well, he just found it really hard to get through the damage coming in from Kryte. Really good peel, and they're looking for another possible fight. Nope. Both of them chill out again. So for RQ, I think they're more... It's going to be a bit tougher for them to win out in the early game. For Ultra Ego, this is the template start that they really love to utilize every single time in all of their wins. So it's all going according to plan. Let's take a look at the items in-game equipment by Dunia Games. Steel leg plates for the Tamas and also for the Fredrin, Irad, who's now a level down of Taz. Where's the Dreadnought armor? And it's an instant NOD, by the way, for a Krites. We're gonna lock down that healing from the Minotaur ASAP. Yeah, it doesn't even finish his boots, just straight onto that. And so what are the winning conditions for RRQ? Do they try and go for the contest on these objectives? Do they let it go? Do they wait for Skylar's power spike? What is the expectation here? They need to they need to kite it. They need to be able to Engage and then re-engage later on. Well, actually, sorry, disengage and then re-engage later on. With the Tamas, with the Valentina as well, you have really good consistent damage coming out later on, but if you go in for just trades, like a burst of damage, Alter Ego will have the advantage. Play Divine Judgment Steal. See here, Clay finds Divine Judgment, but take a look at the turtle. Taz finds it again. Now Rad is fractured, petrified as well. Prezo's Rad will not connect as a Rad will be taken down. Alter Ego looking to collapse more as Vin now might be a potential target, but no, Alter Ego said there's a purple buff, let's go for it. So far, it's not too bad for Alter Ego, right? They're able to get the neutral objective, they hold a little bit more. Wow, okay. NOD first item, but he's already doing that much damage on Vin and being able to kind of zone him out of his own tower is quite impressive. But again, what we saw from game number one is a lot of overcommitment coming in from Alter Ego, and we don't really see that there here, which is a good start. Alter Ego with a 3k gold lead, and it looks like they're pressing for more. Nino, I'm afraid if he goes for a snowball. Yeah, we're actually seeing it from RQ, the mistakes of Alter Ego from game one. Now, on our view, because they are overcommitting here when they should not be. Alter Ego still have a big advantage when it comes to the neutral object objective contest because of the AoE CC that they have, and also the big guy stacks and Taz being a whole level ahead of Irad after the first turtle. Even though Clay stole Divine Judgment, it's still very situational. Oh, yeah, they turn as welcome all towards Vin with the terrifying. It will lock him down six feet under. Now good. Oh, airborne on towards Irad, and he will fall next. And it seems like Clay and Skyler will not have space to get out. Alter Ego, they smell blood, they claim blood as well oh. as Clay will be the next on the top lane, but al alongside Skyler. And Alter Ego, that was 2,000 gold lead escalated to a 5,000. This is the exact same story that we saw in game number one. Mino is dishing out that damage. I don't even think he's at his power spike yet, is he? Nino? Yeah. No, no, he's not at his power spike yet. So imagine when he does get that power spike. He has a Corrosion Scythe and the Golden Staff at the same timing, by the way, as Skylar got it last game as well. So yeah, it's almost the same game, Blitz. just on reverse. Yeah. It's played for Alter Ego and RQ. They're making even more mistakes than Alter Ego in game number one. They are fighting and they are way, way further away from their own power spikes. At least for Alter Ego, it made sense for them to gamble in the early game. In game number one, they had a Roger, they had a Barats. Ark, you have a Claude, and they want to fight early. This is going to end up pretty much the same if RQ continue to fall under the pressure as Alter Ego continue their snowball. Because really, for Alter Ego, there's nothing stopping them from going for these invades. There's not even any pickup potential for RQ technically, unless Clay steals that Divine Judgment. No, Rossi has the bigger Divine Judgment. We'll save it for now. As RQ, they will still defend that mid. Fear of Destruction connects all oh, towards the going. top side, and Skyler now receiving a lot of heat. Taken down as well. Pi was there to assist and kill the steal. Brutality. Still the kill. Brutality. He commits, he knows he's ahead, and he knows that Claude has not reached that power spike, and he knows in a 2v1 that he's going to get something out of it, but look at this. Oh, the bait from Rossi. And now Alter Ego will want business. Dawn very low. 
Oh my goodness, Vin caught to press as well. Don falling first though, as Vin will be next. And RRQ, they have literally zero answer to Alter Ego's call. 9,000 gold lead for the three face mask. It's an even bigger gap than we saw in game number one. 9,008 minutes. It's hard to pull off the clod against the Moskov. We gave Skylar the benefit of the doubt. You know, it's his comfort pick. But so far, it's all Alter Ego. RQ in game number one gave two kills over to Alter Ego. Alter Ego might not even give them one this game. That's how dominant they are. They are beating the clock. We're not even in the ninth minute and they have a 9.6k built to a 9.7k. At this point, they might even just dive to the tier twos without the Lord. The Lord has only just spawned and RQ are back onto their base turrets. This isn't great. This isn't, this isn't good at all. And the fact that Clay, time and time again, is persistent on using this Divine Judgment as his go-to with being that far behind. If he goes in, wouldn't he just get instantly taken out with the damage coming through from Nino and Kryt now? Anyone, anyone walks up, they're dead. Oh, oh, oh. Black Dragon formed on, oh my goodness, wow. pops the ultimate. Now RQ repositions, Alter Ego, securing the Lord, stays disciplined, does not go for the fight. No chance, absolutely no chance. You wanna know what Nino's on already? He's about to build a Melthic Roar. He's on fire, that's true. But he's about to build the <laughs> Melphic Roar. There it is. At the ten, not even the 10 minute, he got it in 9.57. So, oh, 3,000 gold lead above. It doesn't even matter if Taz gets caught, right? Oh, oh, let's see. Suppressed Taz, still soaking damage, gets taken down though. Alter Ego now. Looking Nino? to stabilize, Nino! My goodness, finds a double. Looking for the triple as a rad sidesteps. Oh. But now Alter Ego, my, Nino, stop it. With the hat trick kill, now looking for the base. A Ten triple minutes kill. In. A triple kill for Skyler in game number one, and we get a triple kill from Nino it's in over. game number two, right before they end. Mm, Don and Clay looking for the defense, but it will not be able to. As Alter Ego, they strike back. Welcome to game number three, ladies and gentlemen. If we said that Alter, no, if we said that RRQ wouldn't go down without a fight in game number one, the same can be said from Alter Ego. They are.